everyone, my name is Leo. I'm one of your student directors this year, and welcome to my show, West of Troy. Um, I'd first like to say a quick thanks to everyone who helped um, make this production possible, most especially our tech crew, because I know my show is probably the most technically heavy show you will see on stage this week. Um, so I would just love to say a really quick thanks to tech and everyone else who helped. And with that, we travel to a mythical place in a far off land. Who's there? A traveler. Is this the town of Achaia? <laughs> town of Achaia? You're a couple grips late. There ain't no town of Achaia no more. You're in Achaian territory now. <laughs> Achaian territory? <laughs> Down past this pasture here is the old saloon. If you're looking for a place to stay, this is it. But, best be warned, you better discuss your business with the Band of King. Unless you a lot of pun finding yourself at the wrong end of an Arkansas toothpick. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you best get gated now. The sun's kicking to go down soon. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Pardon me, friends. Where might I find a bandit king around here? I have some business to attend to. Depends. Who's asking? A messenger. Well, well. The traveler seeks the audience of the king. Agamemnon, you called? You've got a visitor. It's a pleasure. I'm sure. State your business in my town. Of course. My name is Paris. I come bearing gifts for the powerful leader of Achaia. I assume that's you? You'd be correct about the powerful bit. I am the bandit King Hera. This here is my land. You've come to the right place, Paris. How do I know I can trust you? This weapon is dangerous. And if I let it fall into the wrong You've hand, made your jack, kid. Now hand it over. I don't think that's a good idea. Listen here, folks. Today is the day we drive those arrogant Athenians and heretical Aphrodites out of our town for good. We've... Yeah. What? Yeah, we've waited a long time for this. And now we've got it, the legendary weapon of the Hesperides, the discordant pistol. With the help of this weapon, we will rise and I will rule this town as the bandit king. Woo! Wait, first prove to me why I should give this to you. Right, fine. How about I offer you a hefty portion of my gold in return? Sound fair? How much gold? All the gold you could ever want. You know, before I came to Achaia, I was headed for the mountains towards gold country. Do you know what I found there? Riches? Wrong. I didn't find Jack, but I didn't need to because there were plenty of poor souls who did. Let me tell you a secret, Paris. I didn't earn my title as Bandit King by playing nice. <laughs> oh yeah, tell me about that time you robbed that fancy bank down in Argos with only a toothpick and a bottle of Ipecac. No, no. <laughs> tell them about the great railway heist of 1838. Oh my God, you're please, so right. please settle down. My point is, if it's wealth you're after, I'm in no shortage. All you have to do is hand over that their weapon. No, I want to meet this other townsman you were talking about first. Have it your way, Paris. We'll be waiting to collect when you make up your mind. For a price, right? You want the gift? I don't know. Get yourself a drink. We'll talk business after dinner. Evening. Evening. I saw you talking to Athena. You're Paris, right? Yes, and you, what are you called? Helen. Helen. You have a beautiful name. So I've heard. Here you 
more? Thanks. Can I ask you something? I don't see why not. What happened here? Last I heard, this saloon should be in the town of Achaia. So what changed? Well, if you mind the details, we are in Achaia. The territory? No. This saloon. It's the oldest and only remaining building left of Achaia. It's a neutral place divided by the three factions. And the town split up. Uh, I shouldn't talk about it. Why? What happened? I think I can answer that. Achaia was divided. I was the original mayor, you know. But after a while, some people had grievances with me and thought my sister or Hera were more fit to rule. I don't think of myself as a ruler, of course. The whole point of this place is freedom, democracy. But I am a leader. A leader guides. A ruler dictates. Hera became power hungry and went wayward, right amongst the willows. My sister, the matron Venus, meddles in everything and refuses not to have her way. They're stubborn, the both of them, crooked as a Virginia fence. So... So when Hera tried to take over, my sister saw her an opportunity. Both of them and their followers struck at once. No one could live in peace with the others. So we divided the land amongst ourselves, and we've remained apart ever since. But now, we have you, Paris. Your gift will end our stagnation. We can fight, and we will win. And when we do, we will rid ourselves of those savages that call themselves Achaeans. And this town will go back to what it once was under my watchful eye. All we need is you. Hera may work outside the law, but her followers are still Achaean. Then help me show them that. Give me the golden weapon, and I'll see to it you have a seat by my side in the new Achaea. All the weaponry, influence, all the power you could ever want. I have to think on it. Let me stay the night, and tomorrow I'll make my decision. Of course. Sheriff Resta, nice of you to drop by. Always. I have to keep track of you somehow. Keep track of me? I'm the least of your concerns. You know Hera. I know. I have my guys in the case. I just like to know the goings out of my town. That's all. This isn't your town. A cave belongs to my lady Athena. Sure. How goes the saloon? The matron give you any trouble? I make sure to keep her girls out as much as I can. You know, without the matron, our town might be very different. You might not agree with, um, her practices, but you can't argue with the economic benefits her business brings in. Maybe, but that doesn't give her the right to step on my toes. Paris, hmm? come meet our sheriff, Vesta. Nice to meet you, sheriff. You as well. You've been to talk to the town lately. A word of advice. Don't let it get you, kid. I'll see you around. I wanted to ask, if you work at the saloon, then who do you follow? Uh, it's complicated. Uh, who's that? Uh, doesn't matter now. Let me introduce you to the matron. Oh. <laughs> Paris, I assume you've come with a gift for the true leader. Well, that would be me. Interesting. I've been told otherwise. You've been told wrong. The Bandit King Hera claims this land, as well as... My sister, Athena. They're both foolish. Do you know who founded this town? Well, Mayor Athena, I assume. No, my child. Athena may have the title, but I have the power. Without me or my business, this town would be nothing. People hate to admit it, but vice is a terribly profitable enterprise. Ain't it, Helen? Where do you think the miners and railroad workers go after a long day of work? The saloon. Right? And when the saloon just doesn't cut it anymore? I... They come to me. There's someone for everyone, Paris. My job is to match them up and make sure everyone goes home satisfied. Even if they go home the next morning. All right, Venus, that's enough. It's family night. Sure. We can take this back to my office, if you'd like. 
No need, Matron. Just tell me what you offer in exchange for the golden weapon. You're a smart child, Paris. Athena certainly recognized it. Even Hera understood it. So you must know my word is good. Give me the blessed iron, and you have my loyalty and knowledge that Achaia is in safe hands. No need to answer now. I know you'll make the right decision when it counts. Paris, if I may intervene, I understand there's a lot of pressure on you. Just remember, the number one rule out here is to follow your instincts. Don't let these people take advantage of you. Yeah, thank you, Sheriff. No problem. Stay safe. Follow your gut. You look rough, partner. I feel rough. I don't know what to do. Well, you heard what the sheriff said. Just follow your gut and don't stick with anyone. Who do you reckon is the right leader? Don't I have to say the matron around you? Eh, I won't tell. Wait, how did you... You're one of her... Uh, associates? Yeah. Is it that obvious? I could tell just by the look she gave you. Like, with the other leaders, you were just a bystander. But with her, it was personal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Listen, the major and I have a contract dating back to the very founding of this town. I needed money and a place to stay. I, eventually, I got over it, but my contract wasn't fulfilled. So, you're still one of hers? Exactly. Do you want to be? I don't know. She certainly has qualities of a leader. They all do. Then how am I supposed to choose between money and power anyway? I don't know. I choose power. I'd rather have power than have pockets be weighed down with gold all the time. Well, I'm gonna head in. I suggest you do the same. <laughs> Good night, Paris. How can I trust any of them? I see great potential in all three, but I fear they might abuse their power, the power I gave them. How can I be held responsible for the fate of an entire territory of people? Everyone in this town has a life to be lived, a story to be told. What am I to them? Am I truly meant to be the fated savior of the West who brought order to this storied place? I'm a passerby in these people's lives, and yet their fate is held in my hands. If I put the wrong person in power, what will happen to these people? What will happen to Helen? <sighs> Poor Helen. My lady, I was just going to bed for the night. Sit, Paris. Do you want to assure Helen's safety? What? Don't toy with me. I see the way you look at her, the way you talk about her when you think you're alone. What does this have to do with her? Give me the discordant pistol, and I'll assure you she's safe. That sounds like a threat. Oh, I won't hurt her. But who knows what my savage opponents might do when tensions rise. I offer you this, Paris, my one-time deal. Helen's safety for your gift. Take it or leave it. I accept. Good. Now listen very closely. The gift. Pleasure doing business with you. I have her blessing. Her blessing? Uh, come on. We, let's go before it gets light. I know somewhere we can go. But what about you? The matron might have let me leave, but you still haven't made a decision yet. Wait, you didn't. Over me? I followed my instincts, like you told me to. Now, let's leave. Yeah! Sorry, folks. Guess you're just fresh out of luck today. 
That's not fair, you stole my bet. Can't steal a bet, Achilles. I bet I won. But if you hadn't skipped my turn to place those bets, I would have gotten if you hadn't. It's true. Aw, maybe you should have just played an easier game. Anyone up for three card Monty? Like you would cheat on that too, Agamemnon. There will be no cheating at my table, folks. Place your Kara! Athena! What a pleasure to you see bribed you. bribed the kid? What did you expect? The discorded pistol belongs to me. I was prepared to do anything to get it. You're prepared to do anything to wipe my people off the map. Your people? Who's being possessive now? You promised him gold that doesn't belong to you. You cheated. Isn't that the point of the lawless Wild West? Besides, I didn't give him any of the gold. Well, he's gone. And so is the weapon. So you must have given him something. What did you do? Relax, Athena. I don't have it. Liar! No, let's not get too heated here. Admit it. You stuffed his pockets with gold and he skipped town. I'm afraid she didn't, sister. Venus. <laughs> That's matron to you. This town is mine. Paris has willed it. No. no. What did you offer him? I'm not giving up so easily. Calm down. This is always going to happen. After all, I always get what I want. You're a cheater. And you're a bad liar. Tell them what you told Paris when he came to see you. I don't know what you're talking about. I seem to recall a bribe. An offer of power, weapons, authority. You act like you're so morally superior to the rest of us, but you would just as quickly cheat your way to power. Is this true? Odysseus, you don't believe the words of this traitor. I would watch your tone if I were you. Well, I won't. You don't deserve the weapon. You don't deserve Achaea. <laughs> and you do. I might be abrasive, but at least I'm not a snake like you two. Don't kid yourself, Hera. The only thing you know how to run is a two-bit gunfight. The only thing you know how to run Hey, watch it. You know what, Venus? You want a gunfight? I'll give you a gunfight. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Shut up, Hercules! Keep your weapons. I'll see you both on the battlefield soon enough. I second that! My lady, Tina. Here it is, Troy, the westernmost mining town in the state and the hub to the railroad travel out here. Nice. You? What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just worried about home. I don't know if people are just see Venus's role. Well, she holds the pistol of Discord now. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Helen, while we're here, I have to confess, I had an ulterior motive. Paris? It's true. I just wanted the best for you, but I also wanted to see you free from your contract because, well, because. Uh, <laughs> stuff right there. What? Truly. I'm flattered. I, I appreciate Helen, the gesture. I... You love me. I know. I wasn't sure until now, but it was somewhat obvious. Oh. It, I'm not upset. I'm grateful. Now that I don't have to look at this woman or for the matron, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. You should come with me, Paris. I could use a friend. Yeah, I'd like that. Listen up, folks. Breaking news. Three disputed leaders from our neighbors to the west plan to fight square for their town. Achaean territory falls to chaos as matron Venus, bandit king Hera, and mayor Athena talk way of a three-way duel. Riots and uprisings plague the streets! Step right up and read all about it. Oh, no. I guess they didn't take kindly to it after all. You're not thinking about going back, are you? If I just, I'd love to adventure and explore. I, I can't even stop my home. Then I'll help you defend it. Break in news. Two undecisive customers decide not to pay their tab. Oh, the anarchy! <laughs> Enough of that place. I have the weapon that's destined to bring the two of you down, and it will. And I, for one, will be happy to see it. Right. Well, I guess we're doing this. The rules are as follows. Each person has a single bullet, so use it wisely. Should you afford for your shot, may the others have mercy on your soul. Each of you must take five paces back, and you should shoot on my mark. I'm truly sorry I had to come to this. I wish you all could have found peace with each other. Five steps back! On my mark, turn and fire. Three, two, stop! Stop! You can settle this another way. Another way? 
You gave me this weapon, you offered me this power, and now you want to take it away? Listen, No. I... You've come to sell us lies. Stay out of it. I'm not lying about anything. If you do this, people will die. Oh, I assure you they will. I'm counting on it. So am I. Just you won't be around long enough. This is childish. You two made your decision to leave. Now leave. Can we get on with it? It's <laughs> already <laughs> back to the What? what? Why? No, what? No, 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 since none of you have an ounce of civility, I guess we have to do this the hard way. Paris and Helen, do you yield? No. no. Then ready your weapons. <laughs> Five steps back. On my mark, turn and fire. Good luck to you all. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Forget you belong to me. Honey, I seem to remember you forfeiting me in exchange for this. Kid, think about what you're doing. Don't listen to her. Just <laughs> stop. You, you'll stop. This is what is your best for a chair. Stop. Kid, I can't meddle in this. You know that. But you can. Whomever holds the weapon also holds the rule of Achaia. No! But that's not... Come on, you're not all going to fall for this. It's just a... I mean, it's a... Bandit King, Matron, and former Marathena, you are all under arrest for bribery, treason, and threatening violence upon my citizens. Paris, Helen, Take these three away. And Helen? Yes, sure. Thank you. You made the right decision following your instincts. Take this with you and lock it up in town hall. Yes, sure. The rest of you, we have work to do. 